Hey guys, it's Chicky Conroy. We are back for more Earthbound. We left off just before the second Sanctuary boss. I'm just going to check our status real quick before we uh, talk to him to fight him. And we're full health. Um, we got a PSI Caramel right there, uh, which will recover PP if we eat it. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that now. Um, this boss fight, here we go. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. All right, now we got the Mondo Mole. This guy does not have allies like the uh, previous boss. He has a few different attacks. He can claw with sharp nails. He can pretty much do whatever the mole playing rough and mighty bears were doing to us. He's not that diverse, I'd say that though. But he can heal himself a life up, which is gonna get annoying. So what we're gonna do here. This is probably the easiest way to beat him, is do paralysis on him right off the bat, because then that gets rid of all of his really strong melee type attacks. Um, and we'll do a PK freeze beta on him, for damage. So we, paraly we paralyze him, we're faster. And his body became numb. He's numb and he can't move, so that means only PSI based attacks will work on him. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> I forgot he has different weaknesses than the other enemies in here, so that's not gonna work. Um, let's try PK fire. Alright, thunder. I can't believe I'm forgetting the weaknesses of the bosses here. This is embarrassing. This comes from a guy who hasn't played in a while. Ow. Yeah. Offense went up by two. Not gonna do you any good, buddy. Dash. Alright, actually hit an enemy this time, Paula. 119. Woo! I actually got it right. Second yeah, shield up. So that's gonna make a Nessus physical attack do less damage. Pain. Hit anyone. Yeah, he's just gonna probably keep shielding himself, and eventually he'll probably start trying to recover. But with a uh, life up. Dang! Come on, do life up. At least put up a little bit of a challenge. Oh, I don't know. PP. Right. He's numb and he can't move. Dazzling light enveloped Nessa Paula. Monomal cannot stop crying. Nessa Paula listeners. Oh, great. We confused ourselves, but we uh, made him less accurate in the process. Dang. Okay, so I caramel on Paula. Hopefully, he won't do something stupid because he's feeling a little strange. Whatever. Ash. She killed the teddy bear! <laughs> oh, God. She killed the teddy bear with six damage. Oh god. Really smart there, Paula. Way to go. Oh, what? You killed Paula! Oh, but she went back to normal. And her tech didn't even hit anyone. Of course. Well, this is, uh, makes the uh, first time any of our party has actually died. You son of a gun. Son of a gun. This is really annoying. Yeah, yeah, your saggy shield became stronger. I'm getting really tired of hearing that. And I sound like, probably like I'm really gay right now. So I'll stop talking like this. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I went back to normal. And you can't hurt me. This fight should so not be taking this long. I just had to go and get Paula killed. Because I was willing to risk doing prey. Oh, come on. Let's start with this. I really hate these red text boxes whenever your party's dead. Or at least one member of your party's dead. Can your offense possibly go any higher? SMASH! Yes, you're dead! God, that was an annoying fight, and it really should not have been that annoying, because he honestly does not give you all that much trouble, and unfortunately Paul's not going to get this experience. Oh, well. At least we went up to level 20. Vitality. Well, we got Vitality on this. And we got Life Up Beta, which will help us. Won't revive anybody. Won't get that until we get the uh, next level of Life Up. Alright, now this will bring Paula back to life, thank god, because I hate these little red text windows. They're so tacky. Nirvana! Next part of the song. You brought me back to life! Alright, whatever. Suppose we had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Sounds like a melody of Lilliput Steps. Alright, Lilliput Steps 
um, I believe is a reference to the uh, popular novel uh, Gulliver's Travels, which is actually one of my favorite stories, actually. I don't do a whole lot of reading, though, but uh, I really like this story. The movie of it was pretty good, too, but uh, anyway. Um, yeah. Um, don't worry, not all of the uh, sanctuary locations have to do with feet. There was just the giant step and the lilliput steps, and that's it. Yeah, um... Sorry, foot fetishists, if you're playing this game solely because all of them have to do with feet. They don't all have to do with feet. These are the only two. Alright. Anyway, I'm done with that. Make out time! Alright, that's not working. I was hoping that the sprites would overlap in a way to where it would look like that, but it's not. Dang, I can't do it. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Now, now that Paula didn't get any experience from that, I'm actually just going to uh, leave here. I'm going to walk the long way around. I'm just going to cut this right here, though, but I'll just keep attacking these mighty bears from behind to give her experience. Um, so I'll see you guys on the way out. I'm going to save my exit mouse for another time. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, and we're back. We are back in Happy Happy Village. What was that anti-blue place like? Is it scary? Um, not really. I mean, I got fully healed. You seem to thrive in places like that. <laughs> All right. So, anyway, Paula's level 12. Um, alright. Going right here. I really shouldn't have gone in there to fight him without equipment on Paula. That was really kind of stupid, though, but I wasn't really expecting me to actually make it all that way. Alright, so we're going to buy stuff for Paula. We're going to buy her the frying pan. Well, fry pan. Thanks to the character limit of SNES games, but whatever. Alright. Um, let's buy stuff. I'm gonna buy the ribbon. Don't buy the home set. It is less money though, but the ribbon is actually better. Um, you are gonna get better equipment from Paula really quick here, and there's not gonna be very much fighting. I'm just doing this solely to raise her stats though. So if you're good at this game like I am and everything, and you can get through there, get uh, through the fight with Mondamol without you know having Paula alive for the entire fight, um, by all means. Uh, you can go ahead and skip out on buying equipment in this part of the game for Paula altogether, because you're not really going to have a whole lot of fighting except going back to Peaceful Rest Valley. And before you get new equipment in the next town. Because when we go back to Tucson, we're actually not going to be there very long. Cover race. Man, I spent $350 on your Paula just for that one item. You better freaking thank me. Alright. I just didn't... Yeah, like I said, you, if you can make it through that fight, um, by all means, don't even bother buying equipment for it. I'm just doing this just so I can get through this next part pretty quick. Um, let's see. Oh, there's another. There's a few other things I want to show off in this town. Now we got this hippie guy over here, over this red house. Might as well see him. Let's try and get all right. Um, anyway, see this red house right here? Let's uh, go up to it. Oh, hi ho! Yeah, it's in a weird font. We'll get into what that font is later in the game. If you played Super Smash Brothers, you probably already know who it comes from, but I'm not going to say anything for those of you who haven't played this game yet. Alright, uh, now we talked to this guy in here. Greetings, Ness. Please come to my lecture earlier. Now welcome to stay free of charge. Yes, stay. This is definitely, this is definitely helpful. Especially if uh, you keep dying on Mondo Mall like um, I did when I was like 12 years old and I first played this game. So yeah. Just wanted to show you guys that. Just the stuff you can do in here now, because those things are pretty helpful. Oh, and uh, this uh, cow is no longer blue, which I'm, it's kind of a shame. Blue cow thing wasn't such a great idea after all, huh? Alright, anyway. Now that we are done here, and we've basically kicked the ass of the Sanctuary boss without even really having to try, because of paralysis making it super easy, um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave off right here. And the next part, we're going to go back to Tucson. You know, meet Paul's parents, you know, bring Paul back. Um, Alright, so if you like this video, uh, subscribe to my videos in the corner up there, big yellow button, give me a good 5 star rating down below this video, and be sure to check out my other parts of this if you haven't already. Alright, I'll see you guys later.